Karma. Welcome to Karma Light Readings. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Please make sure you subscribe, like this video. There is a link in the description to my Etsy page if you are interested in a personal reading. Please, please, please check it out. Um, there's also a link to my Instagram and Facebook. And if you are a returning Leo, thank you so much for your support. Let's get started. This is your love reading um, for August 10th through the 17th, pre-shuffle acceptance. Okay, so spirit wants you to just be in the now in this connection. Accept it for what it is right now. Don't worry about what happened in the past. Don't worry about what's going to happen in the future. This is where it is right now. Enjoy it where it is. Um, if it's in a good place, then love it where it is. Enjoy it where it is. And if you're in a frustrating place, just let it be, okay? Cupid on the bottom of the deck. So <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you Leos have been really um, asking about love, wanting to receive love, um, having it in your thoughts, whether or not it's specifically in your prayer, it's been in your thoughts. Um, there's a specific type of love, Leo, that you've been wanting to receive. And if you, you know, I feel like some of you may have been wondering, Am I worthy of this? Am I ever going to get that? Am I going to experience that? Um, and the first card um, is a big, huge, resounding yes. Because the first card that I have for you from the angel deck regarding your love reading for the 10th through the 17th of August is wedding. So this is letting me know. Um, some of you may be getting um, engaged, but really what it's about is commitment. Commitment of two people, okay? There are two souls in this connection who want to be committed to each other, who have um, an idea. And, and please understand the commitment may look different in each one of your um, scenarios. Um, one Leo may have a commitment and it's completely different than what yours is. But there is a, a um, connection between you and your other person that is undeniable. And that at this moment right now, um, Spirit is saying that you two are in this together. Um, and then we have trustworthy guidance and creative project. So this is letting me know that Spirit is acknowledging that they're with you, that they've been kind of leading you, okay, on this path, that they've been guiding you every step of the way, any ideas um, that you have, any um, uh, new thoughts, that, that that's from them. They're, they're dropping little gems into your thought realm, into your mind, um, regarding this connection and, and helping you be on your way with this connection in a positive way. Creative project. I feel like maybe you and the person that you are connecting with, um, it's like they get you, okay? And so Spirit gave me creative project because it's like, I feel like when you're with them, you learn new ways, or when you speak with them, you learn new creative ways to connect with yourself, to express yourself, okay? I feel as though you feel more freely um, yourself and able to connect and communicate. I feel like this person kind of teaches you new ways to let your soul sing its own song. Does that make sense? Okay, so Spirit, what do we have for Leo in a love connection August 10th through the 17th? 10th through the 17th, okay. So funny, I saw this Five of Swords before I started recording when I was shuffling this deck, the Five of Swords came out in reverse. So here's the great part. The great part is the cards that came out are all in reverse, and that's a great thing because these are the cards that you want to come out in reverse when it comes to a connection. This connection makes somebody feel very free. It has given somebody the opportunity to hurt and heal in the same connection not necessarily meaning that you hurt your partner or your partner hurt you it means that this connection has allowed you to acknowledge your hurt 
and to heal from your hurt. Um, I feel as though this, this person or this connection may bring you a lot of peace, um, a lot of calming guidance, okay? Where you once were feeling very trapped and burdened by your own illusions and thoughts that are surrounding this person in the picture, you no longer feel this way, Leo. This person has brought something to you that has, where you were once feeling very overwhelmed and very chaotic and not knowing where, it's like you were so lost, okay? And you didn't know, what, what do I choose? Where do I go? How do I get to where I need to go in my personal life, let alone in a connection? I don't even have, you know, a hold of the reins on my own life. And I feel like this connection, because I have the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like this connection has really brought a lot of stability to you. Okay, and I'm talking not just physical, materialistic stability. I'm talking about spiritual, emotional, mental stability. It's allowed you to view things in a healthier manner, okay? That's, that's what I'm getting right now from Spirit regarding this connection. So Spirit, can we please have some insight into what Leo can expect in this connection from August 10th through the 17th? So the King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, okay, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, King of Pentacles, man, he's a good guy to be around, okay? He's very sure of himself, he's very confident, okay? Um, this is somebody who, um, he likes to strategically plan everything, okay? Everything is laid out. Um, that way you can follow along on the on the course, on the plan, and you can go to number one, and then you can go to number two, and this is how you get everything together. So this could, Leo, represent you, but it could also represent the other person in the connection who is providing that stability and healing, okay? So I don't know if that's your energy providing the stability and healing, or if it's your other person coming in. And, and again, I'm going to say it's another person unless you have Earth in your chart because I have the King of Pentacles next to the Five of Pentacles, okay? So this could be an Earth sign who's bringing in this type of um, confident energy and healing energy. And hey, don't worry about that. I know how to fix it. That's kind of what I'm, I'm feeling when I see these two cards together, okay? So Spirit, can we get some insight into Leo's love connection, August 10th? through the 17th, 10th through the 17th, Leo love, okay, which ones fell out, they blew all my cards around, so this was like this, okay, here we go, here we go, yeah, so again, so much healing is going on, so much balance, somebody is making an offer, I don't know if you guys will be traveling together, or going somewhere, but this is an offer of, again, another earth sign, this is an offer of peace. This is an offer of, I want to see you. This is an offer of come to see me, traveling together, going somewhere, okay? It could also be, hey, again, what's really cool about this, this just made me so excited, is that this card, when it flew out, it landed on creative project, okay? And we talked about creative ways in expressing yourself. The Temperance card, Sagittarius, um, it, 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 is, it means how do you creatively express your, your soul and your inner needs to your partner. It's all about creative expression. Um, and so I really love that this is the card that flew out and landed um, on creative project. It's just letting me know that there's something in this connection that's really singing to each of your souls, okay? I feel like it's allowing both of you to expand um, spiritually and within, not even outwardly, but more within yourself um, and understanding your own self on a different level, if that, if that makes sense. That's really what I'm feeling here. And then again, the High Priestess. 
So there is emotional balance, okay? There's an inner knowing. Um, and it's, 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 you are trusting and leaning on your intuition solely in this connection, okay? There's a lot of, um, I also feel like I just, when I looked at this and I saw the travel card, I also feel like with the high priestess, it's more of like um, a decision has been made type of thing regarding the connection. Like, I feel like each of you have kind of gone through the pros and the cons and, you know, the, the, good, the goods and the bads, what, what is going to work, what isn't. And you guys have come to this really nice um, conclusion or this really nice area that is freeing but not if that makes any sense yes you guys are in this and you're talking but it's still very freeing not only physically but mentally and emotionally okay bottom of the deck four of wands so there's a lot of hope and there's a lot of promise in here we have the three of swords in reverse so again in this connection leo wow this is great i i really feel like whether you had pain that was from each other or whether you guys had pain and healing that needed to happen from something in the past that didn't even involve the two of you. Together, you guys are able to renew um, the faith in something, okay? whether And that could even just be in love itself. Um, and I really love that this is a card that came out with the High Priestess as well, Leo, because again, it's letting me know there is that emotional um, balance. There is that healing and that understanding and that deep connection between the two of you. So Spirit, what can Leo expect August 10th through the 17th in this connection? So Cancer's energy, okay, and the, wow. So we have the chariot and the lovers that just flew out. So these are, you have a lot of major arcana cards that are coming out in pertaining to this connection. So I feel like this I feel like this connection is something that um, is going to be very beneficial um, and, and I, I want the word I keep seeing is bountiful and I, which is so weird because I, I never use that word. That word just does not pop up in my vocabulary. But I keep seeing bountiful, like plentiful, like it's there's so much to continuously give to this connection. Um, and so with the chariot and the lovers, I feel like you guys are really moving forward into this, this connection, into this bliss. Um, it's, this could be somebody from your past, um, because both of these are more about rekindling and renewing something, but it's also the beginning of something new. You are about to embark on this new, um, journey with this person. It's very fair. It's very solid. Okay. Um, it's not, you guys know exactly what you want and where you are at in life, okay? But there's a very deep love for one another. And I feel like that is why you guys are able to have that harmony in this connection. Why it's easy for you guys to open up to one another. Again, that brings me back to feeling like this could be somebody that you've known for a while um, or may have been with previously in, in the past. So let's see here. Spirit Leo Love, August 10th through the 17th. Okay. There may be some um, challenges, okay, this week. And it could just be in communication. So what this lets me know is maybe you guys don't see each other every day. And I feel like that could be some of the challenges that you, sorry, that's my neighbor's dogs barking. It could be some of the challenges that you guys um, face, but what I'm seeing right now is more that I don't even feel like this is gonna be between you two, to be honest. I feel like something is going to happen where you or your partner is feeling like they have to be really, um, like have their guards up in a particular situation okay um and i i i am personally not feeling that this is relating to you two together i'm feeling like this is an outside situation leo 
that is affecting either your mental health or your partner's mental health. And somebody is feeling um, just they're, they're very stressed out, okay? They're, they're facing a challenge um, and where they might be very precise sometimes with their, with their thought process and how to handle situations. Perhaps this particular situation becomes a little frustrating for them and they're kind of lost not knowing where to go spirit can we get some clarification here on the seven of wands and okay so again i don't really feel like this is an issue within the two of you because of what we were talking about earlier i'm getting the feeling that this week, okay, I have the Emperor and the Nine of Wands in reverse. And what that's making me feel like is that somebody who's usually very um, in their own power, very fair, very stern, knows what they want. They know how to make their decisions and put their foot down. And they usually, you know, have their boundaries and those boundaries don't get crossed. But they're not mean, okay? It's very, they're very authoritative, okay? They could be in a, an authoritative position as well. This could be you. But I feel like it's this week somebody's going to be going through something that is going to make them feel very um, unsteady in the mind, okay? Because I'm getting a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, and a lot of stress. So this could be something that you guys will be going through this week or recently okay um and that's something that spirit is saying to look out for that there is that possibility of one of you or both of you kind of feeling un unstable in the mind so it, which would just to me translates to very stressed okay a lot of anxiety um and not really knowing how to handle the situation because here at the bottom of the deck again ten of cups so I feel like Spirit is just saying, look, something could be coming this week in this connection that isn't necessarily in regards to the both of you fighting, but something could be happening to your partner or to yourself, and you might need that um, connection. So Spirit, what can we expect? Jeez. Yeah, let me shuffle, do a better shuffle, because I'm not, they're giving me way too many cards when I'm doing this. Spirit, this is for Leo Love, August 10th through the 17th. Leo Love, August 10th through the 17th. Okay, so what do we have? What can Leo count on August 10th through the 17th? Okay, so again, major arcana cards here. So something big is happening this week, okay? I feel like we have the hanged man. So acceptance of a situation, okay? Surrendering to a situation, but we also have the wheel of fortune cycles, okay? Destiny. Um, and I feel like that's what's happening is more just surrendering to everything this week. Don't get overwhelmed. Okay, everything right now from what I'm feeling, look, here we go, we have travel as well. Okay. This could be a tough week for communication. I don't know if something big is gonna be happening for you or if something big is gonna be happening for your partner. Maybe somebody's gonna be a little bit more busier than usual, okay? I feel like some big things are happening, some um, faded events are happening either to you or to your partner this week. And what I mean by faded events, I do not feel anything negative that is going to be disrupting the connection. I just feel that something that is supposed to happen in one of your lives is happening um, this week. And Spirit is saying to just... Go along for the ride, okay? I think that you're going to become very um, 
enlightened when you just kind of let it go and, and let it flow. Because over here, I'm seeing there might be some sort of bad communication. Things might get a little bit slower. Um, you might think that you need to pull back because I have the three of wands. So somebody is, again, somebody's trying to strategically plan something and they might just be a little overwhelmed this week with things that are happening or things that are, are um, coming to them, okay? I, but this could be you as well, Leo. So Spirit, can we have some, I am going so long, Leo, but it is Leo season, so I guess we'll just keep it. I literally thought, I, I, I really thought I was only at 10 minutes and I'm at 20 minutes. Unbelievable. So Spirit, can we have some closing messages, please, for Leo August 10th? through the 17th, 10th through the 17th. Okay, again, so this was sideways. So again, this is letting me know that there could be some conflict this week. Not even conflict, more of just fear of what's going on, okay? But understanding that it's also about being calm and following your intuition. Um, I feel like something really big is happening because when I'm checking these cards, I keep... I mean, they're all good cards. The world at the end, rebirth. This is not a bad card. Um, so Leo, just know that in this connection, there is a deep connection. There is a deep love, but you might find communication this week to be a little bit off. Don't let that throw you off, okay? So that's all I'm getting from Spirit right now, Leo. Thank you so much. Please make sure you check back next week um, and enjoy the rest of your Leo season.